hold or something now? Oh, he's going. At least two and a half pounds. He looked bigger than that <laughs> on the screen. All right, there's a one of these. You know, that's a big one. Ooh, told you we're gonna catch some big ones. What is happening, people? Hey, guys, got Dennis back with me fishing today. We are at Kerr Lake. You can see the the leaves are changing in the background. It's October 18th. We haven't been down here and fished. I hadn't been down here since probably July. When was the last time you've been here? Yeah, probably June. Yeah, probably June. So fish has done a lot of changing since then. So I think what we're gonna start with today is, is probably about 9.30 in the morning. We're gonna hunt for these fish on some brush piles and about 20 feet of water and see if we can locate uh, some crappie that way. If we can't, we'll check the creek channels. And, and today, all lures we'll fish are Lake Country Bait lures. So, hey, you stay with us, and you're going to see us catch some big ones, right? That's right, big ones. We're after the big ones. Big ones today. And so, guys, stay with us, and I hope you enjoy the video. So we found a brush pile. It's got a lot of crappie in it. And uh, a lot of crappy, a lot of small fish is uh, what we're dealing with right now. And, uh, but loaded with crappy. So we're gonna fish here a little while longer. We only catching little ones. Dennis just caught one about nine and a half, nine and three quarters. The rest that we've caught have been really small. So uh, we, won't, we won't stay here too long if it's little. Well, hey, we just hit another brush pile. We've got a lot to hit today, so. We're gonna find them. That was a nicer one that just come up there and hit it. So. Yeah, it's a couple good ones here. That's a white crappie. Oh, that's a good one there. That's, that's one of those big ones. Mm. Oh, yeah. Getting a little bit better. That's old white crappie. It's a good one right there. He hit that. That's a bug, right? Yep. That's cricket. That's a cricket. Yep. And what color is that? That's got that. Yellow. That's wild. That's wild. Uh, I mean, you got to make me think now here. Hey. That's curly bill. That's curly you get bill. that cricket right there. That's just something different. I got the cricket curly on the top bill. just to give them, that thing looks like a bug down in there in that brush pile swimming around. So that's a crawfish. A pretty crawfish. Yeah, anything. Boom. All right, there's uh, one of these. You know, he might be 10 inches long. Uh, caught him on the BA Stinger in the slice color. Boom. Little eye jig. A lot of small fish. We ain't even showing you the small fish. I don't know how many small fish we've caught. We've caught a bunch of small fish. We still looking, y'all. Hey, that's a nice one. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it's still on the small side, about nine and a half inches, but uh, at least we got to this brush pile first one we caught was a nine inch one, so. We're still going at it. We just plugging around, guys, hitting in these brush piles. Boom. All right, guys, so, a little crappy about 10 inches long there. Not too awful big, about 10 inches. Still fishing the cricket. I got two crickets on here. You know, a lot of times you fish in these brush piles, you know, a lot of different people especially the people who put them in, they know where these brush piles are. So these fish get fished a lot in these brush piles. So a lot of times if you change your bait size, the look of your bait, bait colors, you can entice some fish to actually hit that, you know, you may not normally catch. So that's what we've just been doing, trying different colors, different bait shapes. It looks like when we change the bait shape, boom, we'll, we'll get bit. So anyway, hey, we're going to keep chunking at it, baby. I think we Oh. All right. Well. A bit better fish right there. Fishing that cricket. Hit that bottom cricket right there. Color. Now I'll just say, folks, we have caught a lot of crappy today. Mainly on the small side. Hey, sometimes it's just like that. Fishing on that full moon. Hey, y'all can comment on the channel, fishing on the full moon. I mean, it was so bright last night, it looked like daylight at my house. And it was cold this morning, got down to about 33, 34 degrees. 
but I have found on the full moon that the crappy fishing is pretty tough. So comment below, tell me what, uh, what you think about that, but that's just what I've found. Uh oh, then it's got one on there. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up with him, y'all. Bam! No, he's been tough today. I'm trying to catch up with him. I'm playing with that floating plastic, and I put a 148 ounce jig in. It's not that because I got the barb cut off. Yeah. And uh, he hit that the first drop. It doesn't. With that head, it sinks a touch slower. A little white crap. Yeah, a little white crap. He bite nine and seven eighths. There you go, bam. Yeah, it's, it's still uh... So I'll tell y'all what Dennis is doing. He's been playing with some floating plastics. And what we're looking for uh, is still in the trial stage of, of just add, you just added a hook to it, right? Well, this got I have, a little head. I'm trying. He's got a little 148, tiny, yeah. tiny little head and got a weight above it. And it, and, it, and it falls a little bit slower. So he's just yep. been playing with some presentation so the bait would look more natural. So this is kind so of- So maybe a, on a day like today when the bite is slow, yeah. you get that slower fall. Yeah, a little Deep. slower fall. And you're right. using the weights, so you ain't gonna wait forever to get down there. That's kind of- Right, right. Kinda... So, you know, we're always testing, uh, you know, different bait, different bait colors and, you know, and you guys get to come along and see that test and, you know, see what works and what don't work. So, hey. Hey, let's go catch another fish. Wow. Good one. Yeah, that's like he is. Oh, he's just mean. Just mean. Alright, oh, we got a couple on here. Double. Get some doubles on. Double cookie cutters. <laughs> yeah, get the yeah, double. Yeah, about cookie. the same size. Like that's what we've been catching. Double cookie cutters. Hey, catching a miss is better than catching none at all. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, it could be going like, we ain't caught a fish, we got skunked. Yeah. At least we're not getting skunked. Yeah, we ain't gonna get skunked now. That's all right. There goes a, a bald eagle, he got a fish. He hit the water and came up with a fish there. Really? Yeah. He's a true fisherman, he is. You got him? Yeah. There we go, that's what we've been looking for, Ben. Oh, oh man. Getting a little bit, getting a little bit better. Good a little one. bit better. That's a chunk right there. Kaboom. Yeah, it's a chunk of Now I switched up, guys. I just broke off. And uh, that's that sub. That's the sub. It's a uh, fathead minnow. Fathead minnow. That's that fathead minnow in the, uh, with a blue head. Fathead minnow right there in the, in the slice color. Is that Grenada? I think Grenada bug. That's Grenada bug. Grenada bug in the slice color. And, uh, Fathead minnow. We've fathead minnow, and I believe and it seems like we're catching. I think we caught that other nice one that was on a, a smaller bait. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Wow. Uh -oh. This is a this is white perch. Okay. Big one. Well, good gracious, y'all! I thought oh, white perch. I thought well, I thought we done had us a good old crop of lay. That's a good one. Oh, white perch. There's plenty of them things down here. The y'all fish lakes right there with a lot of white perch on them. Sometimes, we've caught a few today. It hadn't been too bad. They won't give me my bait back, did he? Yeah, some fins out. He done eat my bait. Give me my bait back. Get him back in there. I don't want to give up my bait. I hold to something now. Oh, he's good. Good day in the morning. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Ooh, what in the world? I told you, he's been up in there somewhere. That's a big one. That's a big one. Ooh, told you, we're gonna catch some big ones. Woo hoo. That's a good, one. good gracious life. It's LC Shad in the ice. Oh. In the ice. I snuck a color in on Dennis. He didn't know about it. I snuck in and put it on there. It's your turn. <laughs> hey, right now, all good. <laughs> ah, come on up here. Well, he's about nine inches, not the biggest one we hoping for. Got a knot in my line. You think I'm gonna pay for that? Yeah, it's fun. I just cut one out. Oh, uh, boom. Oh, you gotta, 
You had one in your one? Yeah. So hey guys, we're getting ready to end the video. All in all, hey, it was a pretty good day. Enjoyed fishing with Dennis as always. We caught a lot of fish. We probably caught 50 crappy. Lots on the small side. We caught a few good ones. It was probably over a pound, but lots in that seven to nine and a half inch range. A lot of small fish, a lot of white perch. We didn't put all them on the camera. There's no need. But anyway, it's a good day to be out on the water. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. Please subscribe to the channel. Hey, it's free. And guys, you remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Hey, always remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water. Well, I had a good one on. He got hung in that darn tree down there. Yeah. yeah, he he was putting a hammer on you. He looked like a good one. Thing, uh, he weighed at least two and a half pounds. Oh. Yeah, at least two and a half pounds. He looked bigger than that <laughs> on the screen.